Illuminati comes out of my practice um, that has centered foundry craft for over 20 years at this point. I started um, foundry craft 20 years ago in my BFA program and then my BFA thesis was all bronze sculptures and I just centered it ever since there. I've always been really inspired by the transformation within the process and I think of it as like a queer process or a queer journey um, and it's very poetic. There's like a burning up and a rebuilding, um, a deconstruction and a reconstruction. All those themes are re really present in my practice. Um, but yes, I've been working with metal for 20 years. <laughs> it was such a beautiful experience. Um, Illuminati has always been centered in like collaboration. Um, as well, so I kind of um, leading the project in the beginning had kind of a starting out idea for um, something that we could actually like dig into the sand mold, very much like Mendieta's work, digging into the earth. Um, and we kind of started out with this idea and then worked on it all together um, through conversations with the museum, the curators, the other artists and the students in Illuminati and um, uh, put together this amazing workshop. A lot of what Illuminati, but more specifically Emily, has done here is try to break down some of the machismo and gatekeeping that happens, a lot of fabrication and metalwork. So um, I think that everyone involved uh, has some kind of say, and it sort of just like happens. I don't know. Um, Sometimes there's some light delegation, but I feel like people just find out what they gravitate toward and people support when they need to. Uh, so I would say it's been just like a pretty fun and easygoing process, um, not too stressful, uh, and, but there's definitely a lot to learn. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think when push comes to shove, um, as you can see from our demonstration right now, um, yeah, like it's always about people supporting and teaching each other. Uh, the process itself has been really amazing. Um, I'm really excited that I got included in this project. Um, we're making work based on uh, the work of Ana Mendieta, and she's an absolutely um, amazing artist, and we've been reading her, about her work, and they also have an exhibit at the uh, Barrick Museum. Um, it's just a really great experience being able to work with metal and being able to be a part of the UNLV community and to honor the work of Ana Mandieta, really. So what's going on right now is that they are filling the crucible in the furnace with aluminum pieces, which we uh, plasma cut from a much larger piece. They're gonna melt that aluminum down and then they're going to use tools to pick up the crucible out of the furnace and then pour the metal from the crucible into the mold, which we've already made, it's a sand mold. And the sand mold is essentially sand mixed with essentially motor oil, and that's what's gonna hold the metal when we pour it into it, the hot aluminum. So whenever we do an, a big aluminum pour, like the one we did for the Anamandieta project, or when we worked with um, everyone for the art walk, I kind of make my own role as hands and mostly I just run around and make sure that everybody has everything they need to actually successfully do the pour. Um, as someone who's more experienced, I've, I feel comfortable helping my peers. Foundry is really a team sport, so it requires strong players and a lot of teamwork in order to make everything function correctly. Uh, art walk. 2022 make sure you come and see us so i was helping a lot with the construction of the sand molds themselves um and so we we built up like the wooden base for it first and then packed it full of sand my favorite part is the like camaraderie i guess so being with like a bunch of really cool people and like being able to share this love of like doing this process and working with metal, so that, that's like the best part about it. I took beginning sculpture in like three years ago, so for three years now I took intermediate last semester, and I always love the metal shop, that's like my favorite part of sculpture. Um, well, I love the process, I love getting to work with other artists, and just like being commissioned to do something for the school is really, like, that's, I love that. And I love getting to just work with other artists. I think the most significant takeaway for Anna Mendieta uh, would be engaging the elements in the most direct way. And I think there is something really 
profound about her work in that on the surface, perhaps it looks quite simple in a simple shape or form or silhouette, right, quite literally, but that the materials she chooses to engage are quite raw and um, dangerous in some ways, uh, but that really taps into a type of energy, right? So the um, energy as manifested by transformation of material, so gunpowder or sand or earth, and um, so it has been really a fun process to do essentially the same thing uh, with metal and watch it go from a solid to liquid in ways that you would never see outside of a foundry context. Yes, I've always been a big fan of Ana Mendieta. I've always been um, just blown away by um, her command of materials and earth materials and place transformation within her work um, and working through Illuminati to engage with her work um, gave me like a, a, a much more like, I don't know, it was like a very like close to her kind of experience. Um, I also think that um, the way that she uses time is really interesting to me and um, with us kind of coming in in her future, um, uh, kind of thinking about like the future of her work, the future of our work, the future of foundry craft, um, everything just kind of aligned really well with this project. So obviously, like, clearly know more about her work through this process and through my own outside research. But also I definitely have a lot of respect for her as an artist. Um, being a grandchild of immigrants myself, I definitely empathized with a lot of the struggles that she had coming to a new place, as well as trying to express herself in a male-dominated field. I didn't know basically anything about Ana Mendieta before this project. Um, so, like, just being a part of this really brought to light for me, like, her work and, like, the history um, that, like, she represents also. I think it was incredibly successful. I love how much everyone was like so enthusiastic to come and join in and dig their hands in the mold with us and get dirty and sweaty and it was in the middle of July in the desert and we were melting metal at 2,000 degrees. Why not? That sounds great. Um, but uh, yes, um, I just really loved seeing the, um, the community and the way we were able to document that gathering through the form that was inspired by Ana Mendieta's work, um, in my opinion, was really su successful. Agreed. Um, <laughs> lastly, what is next for Illuminati? Um, we are doing a performance event for the Art Walk, um, which is the UNLV Art Walk, first Friday of November. It's a public event, and the whole College of Fine Arts um, opens up our campus and all the amazing talent we have here. And so we'll be doing some sort of performative workshop similar to Mendieta, similar to the one we just did.